robotics and 3D printing, two of the most talked about sectors in technology. When you combine them, you get Jimmy here, a robot built using 3D printing. I'm here with Intel's futurist, Brian David Johnson, to talk about Jimmy and the future of robotics. Brian, tell us a little bit about Jimmy. So Jimmy is a 21st century robot. He was born in science fiction, but he's now open source, he's 3D printable, and he's meant to act and interact with people. He's kind of like a, like a smartphone with legs. Now, you mentioned the open source uh, for Jimmy. Tell us a little bit about how people have come together to really build Jimmy from the vision that you had in your head to what we see here now. Yeah, so we started in science fiction. I've been writing science fiction stories, trying to understand how people will act and interact with this, with this new type of robot. So it started in science fiction, and I had an illustrator who I worked with by the name of Sandy Winkleman, who really did the first drawings of Jimmy. And then as we started to realize with 3D printing, with the advances in microprocessors, and with the, really the maker community, that we could actually bring him to life. So we started working with a 3D animator and a 3D designer by the name of Wayne Losey. And he actually then took those illustration, turned them into this, what you see today. And now what we're doing is we have teams of makers and students who are coming together and actually building 10 different versions of Jimmy so that we can have both the hardware and the software and bring everybody together in November to a robotic maker fair. And we're gonna get a bunch of people together to think about how could they use it. Because it's so personalized and it's so app-based, you can actually write apps and put apps into Jimmy. You can decide what you want your robot to be. So is this something that we could see in the stores within you know, a couple of years? Well, the idea is come May 2014, the, the book that we wrote will be done, kind of explaining the science fiction and the how-to, how to actually build Jimmy. And you could actually even get a kit. You could get a kit to actually have all the, the servos and the brain and the battery, and you could 3D print whatever robot you want. So people have talked about robots in the home since the Jetsons, when Rosie was on right. everyone's TV. Where do we go from here with, with robots? Is this something that's going to be viable part of technology, say, five, ten years down the line? Well, I think the first step is I, I want people to go and download the, the book, right? I want them to go to robots21.com and download the free book that talks about Jimmy because we want everybody to help. And I think that's how we're going to figure it out. If we get this open source, we get these apps into people's lives, they'll start to come up with the really cool stuff. They'll come up with the next Twitter for robots, and they'll come up with the next thing. For myself, I think a lot about healthcare. I mean, that's really kind of my job as a futurist, is to figure out how can we use technology to make people's lives better. So the really simple app that I thought of is, you know, we've all dealt with aging parents or aging family members. Imagine if, instead of having a smartphone app or you having to call them, you could actually put a program into Jimmy so that if you have your grandmother or your parent who needs to take their diabetes medication, Jimmy walks up and gives them a really gentle reminder and then kind of goes away. It's a much more kind of human way to act and interact with technology. Great, thanks. For Brian David Johnson, Jimmy, I'm Chris Siaccia, The Street.